right, y'all. I'm here with Max at CA Tune, the one and only. As you know, we got a full CA Tune package recovery gear on the Echo. But I wanted to bring you all behind the scenes, introduce you to Max in case you don't know him. If you don't know him, I don't know if, where you've been sleeping, where you've been hiding under a rock. But Max is out there, and we're going to take you in here, and we're going to show you some things that's going on behind the scenes, some new products, some new vehicles. And at the end, we're going to let you know a little bit about the new relationship that we've created with Echo Nesters, who's now going to also be Adventure Nesters. So I'm going to turn it over to Max. Max, tell us what happened to you. Yeah, I mean, we're excited. 2024 is going to be a big year. I believe it. As you can see, we've got new models, new new things. Oh, yeah. This thing, and then we got the Grenadier. So let's show you around. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Follow us, y'all. Try to keep up. Yeah. I'll try. Nice. We've got oh. the rock slide that's prototyping. Uh, nice. The cross track, yeah, the cross track wilderness. Wow. You might have Ooh. yourself a Subaru wilderness. Wait till you see what's going to happen I here. Know. Excited so. Okay. Also, wow. you have uh, the Subaru Outback. Correct. Should we drift out there now or later? Maybe later. Later. We're, We're going to do it later. <laughs> and then behind there is another one. It's an Ineos Grenadier. Wow. A lot of people don't even know what these things are. You all know what this is? No. Okay. No, they don't. <laughs> what it is. But let's show them around. This thing right. is super Which way cool. you want to go? Let's go that way. Okay. Open the door? Yeah, open the door. Let's do it. Come on in here. Wow. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Show them, show them the ceiling. Show them the ceiling. Oh, yeah, that's like an airplane. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Spectacular. Okay. Look at the seats. Wow. The dash. Look at that. Cockpit. Oh. Cockpit. Wow. Yeah. So that's right. It is like an airplane. We'll show a little bit what's going on in front. Well, we, we actually already cut it a little bit apart. Oh, this is behind the scenes, but look at that. There's a foundation of it. Yes. Y'all think you know what's happening here. What is he world famous for? The one and only the, the hair. hair. <laughs> the hair. <laughs> All right, part two. <laughs> uh, and then his bopper recovery package. Second yeah. I mean, you can hang a van. You can yeah. hang a van. We need to put a little clip of that in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. For those that didn't see that. Yeah, what, 120 feet in the air? 140. 140. Yeah. Come on, y'all. I know. <laughs> so what, what got you inspired by this, if you don't mind? Look at it, it's cool. It Absolutely. Is and I like mean, nothing Australia I've... had it, UK had a little bit for like a year, year and a half. And I figured, you know, we ordered one and it, well, here it is. Yeah. Thanks to help with some of the friends to get it here, but I'm excited about this thing because this thing's cool. It is beautiful. Look at that. This thing's crazy capable, I understand, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. 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 Is it all fiberglass or? No, aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminum and wow. some and some steel. And some little. steel. Yeah. Okay. We weigh it's about six thousand pounds. Oh. Okay. Not too bad, right? Yeah. yeah. Those, Those doors are pretty solid too. Yeah. I mean, can you show a little bit of the fab area. Let's take them to the fab area, shall? Let's go to the fab area. I'll follow all right. you. All right. Try to keep up. Oh yeah. <laughs> so all this is made here, right here. Right you guys here. get that? USA. Right here in the, the U.S. USA. Right here in California. Right here. So we're waiting on the power code to come pick us up uh, Monday. So this gets stashed here, and then boom, goes the power code, comes back here, gets packaged, and gets shipped out to you guys. Just like that. Boom. There's humans making this. That's right, as we speak. As we speak. Well, we got a human right over here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And uh, oh, just kind of show you. Oh, this is a Ford bumper right here. Oh, this is, yes, this yes, is. is. Very this cool. is one of the Ford Transit bumpers, an Echo bumper, if you will. Yeah, very yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah. He's got his equipment going to town, all the safety gear on. Oh, yeah. Mm. A little bit more stuff going on here. over here. R&D stuff. Okay. Um, we got the rear bumpers. There's a chair behind there. When you get tired, you can sit down. Right. Nice. <laughs> hey, you got to make them for you. Happy. You know, logistics is over here. Okay. <laughs> it's a mess right now because we got a lot of Well, because huh? you're working. It's a working. Oh, he's packing it. Oh, he's oh, packing it. You're the package guy. He's a package guy. Okay. So he's putting some of the finishing touches yeah, on. Yeah, this is a trim lock. That way it doesn't get scratched up. Okay. Man. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And again, all hand done right here. I know. Pride. I love that. Yeah. Yes. So can we see the let's go outback? Do yeah, let's do the outback. Okay, let's do the outback. I mean, obviously, we, have, we already talked about this. You already know what's going on here. Yeah. <laughs> the one and only. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this one, okay. I think we're going to have to build quite a few details on this. That's right. It's there pretty is. fabulous. Well, first of all, I want to start that you're guys going to have this product on your website. We are. Right? We should tell them more about that, right? <laughs> That's where we came in. Yeah, this is a good segue. <laughs> so Max and I, for about 16 months, have been building an amazing relationship. And... We love Max and we love his company and the quality and it's just true. everything that's behind CA Tune. And as our 
position has grown as echo nesters and turning more into adventure nesters because of my background in the automotive industry for 15 years, doing a lot of stuff like this, but on a different platform, we started talking. And one of the things that we're gonna be bringing into our line is a whole lot of Subaru products, especially in the Northwest up there, one of the hottest vehicles that you can find. And as Max takes you on a little tour, you're gonna to start picking up on a few things that are uh, unique to him, and then some things that I would say that you created underneath the hood that are pretty trick. That's right, that's right. Yeah, we'll so, have to open what do you want to start on this one? Let's open, uh, let's look at the front. Okay, tell us about here. What do we so got So this here? is a brush bar. It's DOM tubing, really strong, really strong. I mean, there, I'm gonna step on it. And Max is only what? You're about 110. <laughs> <laughs> My wife wishes. <laughs> so that's 220 so on a good day. Mount? Somebody picked one of these up. What do they need to do? So the, if it's a wilderness, obviously it has to be a wilderness. They pop those toe oh, the hooks, little caps, caps okay. and they slide it in. You right. supply bolts, you screw it in. I mean, Bolted it in, it's done. Right to the frame. It's five over. minutes. Easy. You hear that? Five mm -hmm. minutes, yep. it's over. And that, and you can, you're right. That is that insane. That is crazy. Yeah. Like, I think that's strong. <laughs> uh, what are, these LP6s? Like, these LP6s, obviously they're big. Almost yeah. like a rally style. Oh, you yeah, but I have them. You love them. Oh, you can go bigger. Go nine. Oh, oh okay. There, right? Nine, sorry. <laughs> Step so up. this is what's nice. You can mount uh, yes. say maybe five, six, seven lights. Uh -huh. Do I see this, something hidden under yeah, here? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. The hidden winch mount. Check that out, oh. y'all. See, you tune it. A warn. That's right. Which warn is that? It's a, it's their ATV style. It goes oh, okay. up to 6,500 pounds. Wow. And you can't fit a big one, you know. Right. I mean, this thing's not heavy. No, no. But you, know, you get yourself out of trouble. a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Supers usually so, don't get in too much trouble, though. No. They're pretty capable. I think you could. If yeah. you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> got a hook. Look at all that. You got a grill that goes in, so you can actually stick your hand and unlock oh, that, okay. the winch. Yeah. And it's wireless, too. Oh, And then there's underneath the hood. I'll show you how to use that okay. as well. We can walk that way and show you the rock sliders. Oh, yes. And then once we open the hood, we'll show you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look so Max, tell is. us about these. Look how slick that is. Yeah, you can't that, even tell it's there. No. You know what I want to share with some folks here? I can't tell that. So when you're looking at rack sliders okay. for a vehicle, and I think Max, you could attest to this. Why do we want tubular versus square or rectangular? Because they'll slide. That's correct. That's why it's a rock slider. So when you're looking out there, there's a lot of products on the market. I think that you're obviously going to want the C8 tune, but just if for some reason you lost your mind temporarily, and we're not else. <laughs> <laughs> not only that, what's so cool about these rock sliders is a lot of rock sliders that come around underneath your panel the, the plastic you know cover right this actually takes away the whole plastic and it doesn't oh, yeah, you I mean, don't yeah. lose the ground clearance should i take the camera yeah take the camera quick? okay i'm gonna take show the, the pinch walls how it protect the pinch wall as well okay you know, it's hanging like a one eighth yes the oh yeah right there, there. So you can you actually guys see that right there yes actually it does protect the pinch weld and what he means by the pinch weld i'm going to take you right here folks is right here some people call it a pinch seam but it is a pinch weld and it protects that. So that's pretty unique. I'm gonna pan the camera back to shell here. And then we there can we open go. the door and you can see a little more what, how it looks like. I mean, obviously a lot of mess. Oh, there yeah. you go. Kids driving. Now, when you go to install this, are these all factory? Yes, no drilling necessary. When you pop your plastic off, you'll see holes. We supply the rivet nuts and the tools to install them. Wow. You install them by hand, this gets bolted on, and that's it. You know it's nice, and I just wanna- You step on it, easy. Here we are again, right? Mm -hmm. Super solid. Yeah. You can oh. actually lift that whole vehicle by that. That's insane. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. No. <laughs> I'm like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. This thing is gorgeous. So, yeah, it both is. of them, I mean, they're super solid. Dion tubing, 316 steel, everything else. Let me open the hood and show what's going on. Let's do it. I know there's going to be some question on these tires, so Michelle picked oh, yeah. up a little filming on that. Oh, look at this. There we go. Obviously. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Ditch lines. They're, yes. They're made ditch lines, but nobody really runs them like this. Because they uh -huh. look ugly, right? Look how they look. Right, right, right. So usually most of the people just run them straight. Yeah. But they're ditch lines because you can't see what's going on right. inside. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's yep. what it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's how mine are set up. But I'm, I'm kind of cool like that. I'm kidding. <laughs> he's, he's more function over looks, right? Yeah, more function <laughs> over looks. All day. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. So we have a compressor. You see that right there? CA Tune exclusive mounting. Tell us a little bit about why you'd want one of these because i mean not only some of these enthusiastic people they want to air down a little bit yep and they drive bicycles and everything right compressor yep or, or things let's say you're into some like, water activities or you got some little mini oh, rasp yeah. blow ups those you're tubes. pulling up, them up boom yeah it's like that it's no longer like this <laughs> or <laughs> yeah and then you're like, or plug it into the cigarette lighter i mean what do, arb is one of the That's best cool. in the market it is done just like that quick connect right there right yep okay okay 
Yeah. Are, are these uh, brackets, if somebody wanted to order the ditch lights, this is yours, right? Yes. It's online? Right, right there. What's, what's nice, look at the zip ties, the way it's, you know, it's not hanging in here. Yep. You see that? Everything's tight. All factory, yep. meaning you just bolt it yep. to what's existing. Oh, yeah. No drilling, nothing crazy. No. And uh, looks like you got some action going on top of the roof here. Uh, it's from Thule. Um Let's, let's go ahead and do that first. Just break it? Wow. Well, we may have almost bought a Subaru. <laughs> it's too funny. It'll be our second one. So obviously this is a little wider. Yes. And they ran this thing so you can put a lot of stuff in here. And okay. I had a bunch of stuff on here. I mean, you can't daily drive with all that stuff. Right. But you can put a, a Tui box. You can put bicycles. I mean, you had all kinds of stuff on here. That's a great platform. Oh, yeah. And they got an awning on it, too. I was just checking uh -huh. that out. Here oh, that's cool. Here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cute. Sit underneath, stay That's in the it. shade a little bit. That's perfect. That's right. Yeah. 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 right? This is gorgeous. So you obviously this is is this your one of your personal rigs? It is. And uh Rumor is it might find itself a little bit north of here. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> That's the so plan. Maybe people will see it there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who those people are, but I, I, I think I know them. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, so this is another one of the vehicles. I want to also share with you, you're seeing a few of the vehicles that Max is really into. Let's just take them over your spinner while we chit chat Let's about this. All right. All right. <laughs> so one of the things is Max is a car enthusiast from the get go. Tell everybody just, with, I mean, it would take an hour, but give them the last 10, 15 cars. Everything from the Toyotas forward. The oh people. boy, that's gonna take a, it's gonna throw take a while. Throw out there. <laughs> I mean, the Suzuki Troopers. I mean, every like like you said, Land Cruisers. Yep. I mean, I got just got a Prado not so long ago. I love cars. Yes, you cars do. Cars is, I mean, uh, well, yep. most men do. Yep. It's thing, but sometimes it's a bad thing too. Right. You get crazy with <laughs> yeah. it. But uh, I mean, we're standing next to a Sprinter. And one of the off. things why I introduced that to you is Max is. Uh, He's been around automobiles a good majority of your life, oh, yeah. and he's a hands-on guy. He fabs, manufactures, and this company was, I would say, built from the ground up with your hands, your family's hands, and really just based on what your enthusiasm or your interest was around automobiles. And talking about sprinters, this is the one you see everywhere, right here. Hammerhead? Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Take a look at this. You got yourself a sprinter, you probably pretty much know about this. And you want to tell them a little bit about this bumper? I mean, how I mean, so this bumper is the one we actually hang the van, 140 feet in the air. Yes. And uh, I'll give you the poster, you can actually show oh, there people we go. what it is. Yeah. There we go. So, but it's definitely made 316 steel, super strong. DOM again? DOM, yes. Okay. Um, it's tied into the frame rails, not just like the, every other person, it's hugging the whole frame rail. Right. Because these are unibodies. You want to make sure you can actually use it the way you want it when you're pulling, because sometimes they get really heavy. Okay, so that's, that is that's actually safety. critical to think about. If you're looking to pick one of these up from any manufacturer, I think he just told you what makes this one a little bit more special or where some thought was put behind it. Absolutely, yeah. especially the cooling areas. We have a lot down here. So okay. the intercooler. Oh, oh, yes. When you're driving, it kind of almost like an air. Oh, and you got a skid plate under here. Yeah. Yeah. I do, yeah. yeah. Check that out, huh? Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. Oh, it's protected. Is, is that a cast aluminum oil pan? Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. So just for you folks that don't know this, I was uh, working with Volvo for 15 years, and the cast aluminum oil pans, when they're exposed to the road, don't think of a skid plate as something you need necessarily for off-road. If you've ever been going down the highway and you see a part of a retread of a tire, some things that have been left uh -huh. out, we took out part of our Sprinter from not <laughs> having one of these before. But when you have a cast aluminum oil pan that's exposed, it doesn't take much to punch a hole in that. And at that point, you need to stop the vehicle when you're done. So that's going to protect that right there. What do those roughly go for, this kid plate? Oh, six fifty. So six hundred and fifty dollars insurance policy for probably oh, three to five thousand dollars worth of repair. Well, who knows where you're at? Yeah. Well, that's true. Plus the total. Peace of mind. Yeah. So let's take them around here. Uh, look at the rest of this. This is beautiful. We had to rob some tires. Oh, some other vehicle. Yeah, he robbed these tires. <laughs> he saw and he's like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> he usually has some other goodies on it. But we do have the side oh, steps. Is this you too? That's me too. Oh, let's just do it. Oh, that one. Oh, that, that was cool, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got the rear tire carrier. Oh, goodness. This is crazy. This year, right? It's us. Tell us about this. So this tire carrier, which is so nice compared to all the other ones, totally a lot of adjustments depending on your wheel fitment. Okay. Yeah, and it's super slim. That's it is really slim. I was just like looking at it. It's there. not staking out. It's not yeah. bouncing. It's nice. Again, do you to help when you're backing up? You you know, sometimes you're restricted. The tighter you can get in there, the better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Is this, that's the one that got hung 140 feet, right? That's the one. Gotcha. Oh. Let's look at the rear bumper. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> you saw what I was going. What's it doing? I'm like, wait a minute. I know I saw it. Oh, Lord. They almost look like brothers, brothers and sisters or something. So, yeah. This is the one Tell we just Tell about this. This is brand new, y'all. So, 
a lot of people have been asking me for years to do something, but we were so busy with that front bumper. Finally got you know, a little bit of time and we designed something to match the front. Because oh, we're not scary. we're not messing with the actual radar sensors on the okay. side. Okay. Which is really critical. You gotta know what you're doing. This is you re remove the center portion. Yeah. Super steel, super look at that. Yeah. Look at that. That's nice. That's so you get bikes. That looks good. I like the stem platform right here. Oh, yeah. Got the grip. So this will work with a with the hitch. Correct. Yeah, see if take a look here, Shell, there's a hitch. Everything's been configured and formed. This thing is solid on here too. It's not moving a bit. That is solid. There's somebody there to go. parallel park against this. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. Very cool. Let's give him this last sneak peek. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Just run around. Hammerhead LP nines? Six. Sixes. Sixes. Oh, I was gonna say that. Yeah, we kind of Change it around, put it on okay. the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Something a little different. Oh, Mad Max D shackles, That's the one right. and only. Oh, yeah. Those oh, are yeah. heavy duty bad boys right there, y'all. If you don't out. know, you need to know. No, we did our testing. I think they hold out like 40 slash tons. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. I, 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 I mean, more. the rate it says eight. Yeah. No, trust me, they're triple that. Very impressive. So, y'all, you got a little behind the scenes. You got to know Max. You get to see why we fell in love with C Tunes product and what it's about. Any questions, make sure you hit CA Tuned Up. You can also hit us up, Echo Nesters. We tend to answer tons of questions on anything, and if we don't have the answer, we'll go to Max. So in the meantime, I'd say get out there, have an adventure, Dude, and best. make sure you check out the best, the one and only CA Tuned. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Cheers.